150 rooms and a wide range of medical services, including gynecology, psychiatry, orthopedics, ENT and surgery. This is what the residents of Arima and Environs can now look forward to having easier access to. The hospital, which was constructed by China Railway Construction, was built at a cost of $1.6 billion. On hand to deliver the feature address and declare the facility open was Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. He said the General Hospital was built during difficult economic times, but government worked closely with the contractor and managed to reduce the cost estimated by the previous administration. In those dark days, took the opportunity to sit down with the contractor through Udicon to negotiate line by line, item by item, and that's how we manage to reduce the cost by $200 million. Prime Minister Rowley took time to acknowledge the contributions of the nation's health sector, heaping praises on them. He also highlighted this country's success at managing through the coronavirus pandemic to date. And to members of the public, the Prime Minister called for people to temper their criticisms of this country's health sector. If our health system and our health care deliverers were what you think they were, a pandemic would have been devastating to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And the reason why it has not been so, and it is not so, is because the reality of what we have and who we are have come to our rescue. Dr. Rowley said despite the economic challenges, government's intention was to ensure the people of Arima receive a new hospital. Meanwhile, Health Minister Terence Dialsing said he's pleased with all that the people of Arima are now able to benefit from. You will have state-of-the-art treatment in areas of cardiology, including the management of hypertension, nephrology, endocrinology, metabolic disease, including the treatment and management of diabetes. Construction of the Arima General Hospital began in September 2016. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.